I'm Mike Sullivan. Hey, the other day I had one of my golf students named Hal uh, come by while I was actually out practicing. And uh, we got to talking about a golf tip that he had seen on the internet. And, and he was talking about how he was trying to start his backswing as if he was ringing a bell. And I thought that would be a good thing for us to talk about because, you know, it's amazing how, so how a golf tip that, that one person views as being one concept or one principle, another person can actually view and interpret that totally differently. So in just a second, we'll talk about why you should be aware of those golf tips. And we'll talk specifically about what you should be feeling when you're trying to ring a bell on the downswing. Okay, so as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, I was out here the other day and Hal, one of my students, came by and we we're just talking about things and, and he was mentioning about how he had been working on something, a tip that he had seen online in a, in a, in a video. And what he was attempting to do was he was attempting to improve his swing path. And the tip that he was following was one where the, the, uh, the, the, the online video said, hey, you need to start your downswing as if you're pulling on a rope or like ringing a great big, like a big old church bell up here, like pull that bell and ring that, ring that bell. And I think the way that I was showing you right there was a pretty good way to start our downswing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna change angles here going up the range. So let me get, let's get this thing parallel here. So, so my target line is going to be parallel to the stick on the ground. And if I go with that idea of making my backswing turning back, and then I'm gonna start my downswing by pulling on a rope, ringing a bell. This is really a feeling that is very much open to interpretation of the listener, of the viewer, of, of you. So the way that it's designed, the way it's meant to be heard, would be you would take a backswing and start your downswing as if you were pulling a very, very heavy rope or a rope with a very, very heavy bell up there. And so you wouldn't just pull your arms down to do that. You would actually have to incorporate the, the muscles of your core and, of, and starting with your lower body with your hips here to pull that bell. But the problem is, is that a lot of times when people they see a tip or they hear a tip or they, they have a swing thought, they're really not putting the whole thing together. And what was happening a little bit, and Hal, if you're watching this, I think we talked about this a little bit, what was happening a little bit was when Hal was getting started was he was back and he was pulling the bell, but he was starting everything with those hands. So take a look at how this swing path is gonna look. And I'm gonna go ahead and, and actually hit this ball. We'll show it back in slow motion. So watch what happens when I start my downswing all with hands as if I'm pu pulling a bell, but maybe it's not as heavy as the bell up there. So watch what happens here. I think when you look at this in slow motion, it's gonna show my hands start, the club gets outside the target line and comes across, and I could really feel my hands, or my arms, I should say, really, really getting, my left arm was getting bent, and I felt very jammed coming through, starting the swing that way, okay? So the way we wanna to try to do this, because it's a good tip, it's a good thought, but the way that we wanna do this is again, remember, feel like there's something really heavy up there. So, hey, Colin, will you help me out? Would you mind coming yeah. over? All right. Um, I'm gonna, uh, did, you, did you hear what I was talking about at all? A little bit. So come around this way for me. Okay. So you're gonna be like my resistance. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna have to set that club down. All right. So we're gonna have a pretend ball. We're not gonna use that ball, but I'm gonna take my backswing and I want you to hold on to that shaft for me. Okay, so he's got us, so there's some resistance there. He's gonna hold this, firmly enough so I can't make this work with my hands. So like that's not gonna work. But if I unwind with my lower body and then turn through, that's gonna give me the right feel. Did you feel more like strength coming Absolutely. through? So that's like a bonus of it. Yeah. So we're obviously we'll be stronger if we're rotating our whole body one more time. So starting with my lower body and it's gonna let everything unwind. 
So that might be really helpful. Have you heard of that, that drill of ringing the bell, pulling down a rope to start your downswing? You heard of that? Yes. We're just talking about people will just do this, but it's all hands and it doesn't work out, right? So get somebody like Colin, some big strong guy to hold that club up there for you so you can feel how you'll have to start that downswing unwinding with the lower body. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit a ball now. Thanks Colin, very much. So that's two weeks in a row we had students in on video, right? So I'll tee it up a little higher. So let's see if this path looks a little bit better on this one. Definitely not the best drive I've ever hit, but I think the path was a little bit better. So when you're looking at these tips online or someone's giving you a golf tip, Try to make sure you're really understanding what they're trying to get you to do. And maybe if you can ask a couple questions about specifically what's supposed to happen, that'll help out. Because I think a lot of times in these tips, we just try to do the tip, whereas the person explaining it to us is, is looking for us to get an actual certain type of move to come out of it. And it, it's very easy to try to do a job the way that the instructor <laughs> didn't want you to do it. So when you're ringing that bell, it's a heavy bell because you're unwinding that lower body and then the, the shoulders will turn and your swing path will then come much more from the inside and that's gonna help you hit the ball longer and straighter, probably with a little bit of a drop.